Yo, what's up, baby? This is Bert Watson, and you're listening to Radio MMA, because this is what they do and why they do it, baby, all night long, because they rolling hard, fast, and on the money. Okay, uh, it's a few weeks back, prior to UFC on Fox event, Dillashaw versus Barrow 2, the UFC held a Q&A session featuring CM Punk. And at the event, a man walked up to the mic and challenged CM Punk to a fight in the UFC. <laughs> it was uh, pretty crazy shit, guys. Pretty crazy shit. Well, we've tracked down the guy. His name is Dylan Poussin. I think I pronounced that last name correctly. If not, my apologies. But um, he'll be joining us here in a few minutes. But first, I wanted to play the audio from the Q&A session where CM Punk and Dylan got into it. And here it is. How's it going, Phil? I'm good. How are you? We're doing all right. Uh, my name's Dylan Trouble Busan. You might remember me from Twitter blowing you up all the time, asking you for a fight. No. My question to you is: You are might you remember scared? me from Twitter. It's the greatest. It's the greatest Troy McClure that The Simpsons never ever used. Are you finished? Ooh. No, I'm. I'm here all day. But guess who's finished? You are. All right. So my bye question bye. to you is. Are you bye scared bye. Oh, okay. Because your sister bye bye. told you to stay away from the Mexican kid, bye bye. which I find highly Oh, you're a Mexican? Oh, no, I feel bad for all the other cool Mexicans I know. I'm an American. So are you scared <laughs> See you, to fight dude. me because your sister told me told you to stay away from the Mexican kid? Or are you scared to fight me? Okay, you know this is not what this is for. Like I beat your sister's pussy cat up. I don't know that's where something. anyone in this huh? that's not what this platform's for, and I understand that you want to have a message for him, but that's not what this is for. You're wasting UFC fans' time. I have a message times. for him and the rest of Chicago. You say that you want it You're to be getting in Chicago. You're getting booed. No one cares. Next. Why don't you just start? Come on. Are you scared? You Question over here right, for Phil? a fan that actually wants to know something. I want to know why you're scared to fight me. Oh, Can are we you, turn off that are mic? You, are you a UFC fighter? Are you a UFC, are you UFC fighter? fighter? You're I'm on bro. I'm on the stage, bitch. Get the fuck You're out. <laughs> okay, that mic's off. Thank you. Okay, guys, welcome back to Radio MMA. Let's welcome Dylan to the show. Um, Dylan, we just played the audio from the Q&A um, that I guess you could say you crashed. What made you decide to call out CM Punk? Uh, this started back in December whenever he made the announcement that he was going to the UFC. Uh, just something about it made it just seemed like a good opportunity for me. I saw that he didn't have any fighting experience. He's 0 and 0 as a professional, and so am I. But I have a wrestling background, and he says that he has a professional wrestling background. But I wrestled for over 20 years. I wrestled in college. I coached at uh, the, my alma mater, SIUE, and just knowing his sister and going to school with her just seemed like a good opportunity for me to get my foot in the door and challenge CM Punk. During the, uh, oh, the Q&A we just heard, you mentioned a statement about something Mexican. What was that all about? Uh, well, his sister... Uh, and I were texting back and forth back in April, and uh, I I asked her why her brother uh, wasn't responding to me and wasn't trying to set up a fight with me. And his sister, Shaolin, said that she told him to stay away from the Mexican kid. So I brought that up at the Q&A to see what he would say about that. Okay, so you do this. Now... How did you get the idea to show up at the Q&A session? Obviously, you were talking to him beforehand. Was this something you planned for a long time? Uh, this is honestly something that I planned the day before. Um, I was just in my room, praying to God, asking him to give me strength to make my next move in my business career to make sure that it was the right move. And then as I was doing that prayer, my phone vibrated and it told me that Dana White, the UFC, and some other people were tweeting about something. So I clicked on it and then it takes me to a tweet that's about CM Punk's Q&A in Chicago that's free and open to the public. So I just thought that would be a good platform for me to finally get my chance in person to call out CM Punk because i had been doing it via social media and trying to reach out to him through his sister and through friends uh, and things like that. So I figured 
you know, he can't say that he doesn't know me anymore if I go to his face and challenge him in person. Nice. Okay, man, so just talk about your aspirations for an MMA career. Where have you been training? I've been training at American Top Team in St. Louis for the past year and a half now. Uh, well, not anymore because of that, but uh, before that I was wrestling, so I wrestled my entire life, and then I wrestled in college, and then uh, I got recruited to train at American Top Team by Kyron Woodley, so I've uh, just been training there. Okay, and you say you were recruited by uh, Tyrone. What sort of relationship did you have with him prior to this incident? Uh, well, Tyrone was one of the coaches that was, uh, he recruited me to wrestle in college, actually, at SIUE. He was my coach there my freshman year in college, and that was the year that he became a professional fighter. Okay. So he's really, what, he's really what shaped me into the man that I am today. You know, I saw what he was doing and where he started from and then how he built his career up. So I wanted to do something similar to that, but make it my own brand and make my own name out of it. Okay, so basically you went to the Q&A session, he got wind of it, and he called you up? Is that how it went? Uh, yeah, he first sent me a text message, and then I texted him back, and then after that... Uh, we started talking on the phone, and then uh, things just, he wasn't too happy about it because him and Phil, him and, uh, Phil are friends, so he didn't really want me calling out CM Punk, so he just wasn't too happy about it and told me not to come back to the gym for a while. Oh, wow. So uh, is this going to be a temporary thing? Do you think you'll be able to get back into the gym? Do you want to go back to the gym or... What's your next option? What's your next uh, move? Well, it would be nice to get back to the gym because, you know, in this area, it's the best gym around, the best coaches around, good training partners. And then, you know, of course, I have Tyron there, and Tyron has his training partner that he brings in for his fight camp. So I would love to get back into the gym and start training again because without being able to train at the gym for free, like I was, it's just it's hard for me to – even pay to go to another gym and start the process all over again and then trying to find the right gym with the right training partners and all that. So hopefully Tyron and I can get this resolved so that way we can kind of squash whatever happened and, you know, I can get back to training and hopefully get another fight soon. Obviously you didn't think uh, you'd be kicked out of the gym over this incident, correct? Uh, I didn't think I'd get kicked out of the gym for it, no. I thought maybe I'd get in a little bit of trouble, but I didn't think I would get kicked out of the gym because I didn't, I made sure that I didn't say anything too, like, obscene or use any profanity of that nature. So that way I wasn't being, like, obnoxiously rude over the whole thing. I was trying to get, I was trying to get my message out there that I'm trying to fight CM Punk, but also do it in the most respectable man, uh, the most respectable fashion possible. Because I understand that it is a fight game and sometimes you need to say some things to get the fight, but at the same time, I didn't want to try to stoop down to too low of a level to where I would have to rebuild my character up. Okay, man, do you regret calling CM Punk out now? Like, would you have still done it if you knew what was going to happen? I would still honestly have done it, yeah, because I'm not just going to call someone out on social media. If I want to fight someone, I'm going to do it to their face, and right. I saw the right time and the right, right opportunity to do it, so I figured, why not? You know, you're always going to get backlash and negative things that happen from even a good situation that you perceive as good, but you just have to roll with it and go with what you're given. Well, shit, man, I think... Uh... I think we've covered it all, but it'll be interesting to see where you go from here. And now I'm sure you, when you do have your first fight, you're going to have some publicity behind you. So uh, best of luck in your career, brother. All right. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it.